Welcome everyone. So today we are going to touch a topic of how many zeros are there in these kind of questions. Okay. So this is a topic which is generally asked in UPSC. Okay. And they normally give you a lot of big, 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 big products. But trust me, the answer is super, super easy. All you have to find in this entire thing is a combination of two and five. Whenever you get a combination of 2 into 5, basically that gets you a what? 10. Right? So that is basically 1 0. So the number of combinations you will have will be the number of zeros you will get. If you have understood, try solving this. Take a pause and go to the end and check whether you've got it or not. Okay? So now for the first one, what we'll do is we have 8. We'll write. We'll write. Um, Maximum wherever there is a 5 or 2 involved only that we'll write others will not write. So this is what 2 cube 8 is 2 cube and then here if you see there is a 5 and then here if you see there is a 5 again. So now if you see we have 2 cube then there is a 5 cube. So basically you can say that this index this is basically what 2 into 5 the whole cube. Okay, so this index will represent the number of zeros you will have in this answer. Okay, so here I will say the answer is 3. Okay, students if you have liked then please go ahead and hit the like button and at the end I am also going to put up a DIY question which will, which will be a question number 3 for this one. Okay, so now if you look over here we have 2 into 13 we are just going to discard that. This 32 is 2 raised to 5. Now if you see anywhere else, I am not getting anything in terms of 5. If I am not getting anything in terms of 5, then here I can simply say that this particular multiplication will not have 0. Okay. So here we will have 0 zeros for this particular multiplication. So now here you will tell me what will be the answer for 4 into 25 into uh, 45 into 2 into 29 do let me know your answers in the comment section but wait 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 here if let's say if i had changed this question okay because i want you all to remember that there is a particular scenario where you might come across that 2 raised to 3 is the index for this one and here instead of 15 we had let's say 13. So here we will just have 5 raised to 2. Then in that case what you will do is you will take the least least zeros. So least index. So here the index will be what? Just 2. In this entire answer the number of zeros will be just 2. Okay. So this is one thing which I had forgotten to explain. Please do remember this particular part. The last, the least index is your answer when it comes to these kind of questions. So that's it for today. Don't forget to solve this DIY and let me know your answers in the comments.